Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute again. I've done it again. I keep doing it. Every time. Every fucking time I say I'm gonna get back on here consistently. And then I just, you know what? I'm more consistent on TikTok, to be honest, at the moment, so. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you should, because I post on there way more consistently. Uh, everything on there is obviously bullshit, as my YouTube channel is, anyway. But I just post on there more consistently than any other platform, so if you want to keep up with me and my bullshit, make sure you go and follow me on TikTok. I'll put my TikTok thing somewhere around here. Why do I feel like this should be a bit higher? I'm cutting off my head, aren't I? It's on, like, some um, bendy leg things to hold up, because that's, like, the perfect height, but if it's, like... I feel like it might be, is that right? Yeah, I think that's even. I think it's pretty even. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be filming two videos. Obviously this is just gonna be one, because it's two videos. Um, I'm gonna be filming a my updated base video and also going to be filming a tutorial. Um, I'm gonna do like these nails, like eyeshadow using this palette. So that will be the other video. This is obviously the base video, as you know from the title. Uh, my skin is not playing nice recently. If you want to focus on my skin, that would be fantastic. Or anything other than the AC. Anything other than the AC? Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, my skin's not playing that nice today. I've got a few marks here and a few marks here. So I'm going to be covering that as well. But this is just basically my... Um, I'll wear this makeup unless I'm just doing minor touches. I don't put my sleeves on. Unless I'm doing like minor... Um, you know, just like quickly popping out if I was going on some beds or just like walk around town or something I'd put on a little bit of concealer and mascara, but otherwise then this is the base that I do This makeup does not fucking budge for anything. I've been out in the rain I go on nights out with it and it genuinely it does not move anywhere. So I don't bake in this. Have I done this video recently? I'm gonna do it again if I have Okay, so first of all, I've got some moisturizer in my skin, but I want to put a little bit more I accidentally got the 50 plus SPF and if you know me, you know what, I don't, I know I should wear SPF, but I don't really wear it like that. So I thought I'd get one with a little bit of SPF in. And I accidentally picked up one with 50 SPF instead of like a 20, which is what I wanted. But this is, I don't know how this set feel. I don't know how the fuck you say that. Uh, bear with as well, maybe the lighting might be a bit strange because I've moved my room into a different room in my apartment. Um, and uh, I feel like the lighting is really good here, but also, not 100% because I haven't filmed here right now. So, it looks bright on the, on the, the, what the fuck is that called? This thing? What's this called? <laughs> you find that? Is that right? Anyway, it looks bright on there, but if it's not then, hey, you lose, you lose. It's not even the right saying. Okay, so, after that, should I pin my hair? Because it's going to be annoying. No, I think it'll stay. It's greasy, it'll stay. It's giving Lord Farquaad. It's giving Dora the Explorer. Hello. Gold Elixir from Revolution. I think this is Revolution. I am honestly the worst makeup, makeup YouTuber ever. And I'm just going to put it on. It's like a gold. Ugh! Like a gold texture. I just like putting any kind of dewy gold like primer out my face before anything. And it smells like coconuts. It's a little bit sticky. So I feel like. I don't know if this is true or not, I might just be lying, but um, I feel like it makes your makeup stick better. I don't know, you know, I'm not a doctor, I don't know anything. I actually have a cup of tea here, I'm not going to forget about it because I always forget my cup of teas and they go cold. British. For foundation, this is my favourite foundation ever. I don't normally have favourite things, I normally are kind of like on the fence about a lot of shit because I don't actually... I, I can like things a lot, but like, I'd also try something else. Recently, well, I could like things a lot, but I'd also like, be like, oh, but I like this as well, but I like this as well. This is my favourite foundation ever. It's it's very much so kind of like Giorgio, Giorgio Armani. <laughs> it's very much so like Giorgio Armani um, in like the texture, but it's just like a little bit more, a tiny bit more high coverage, even though it's a light to medium coverage. No, it's like a light coverage, but it's buildable. I don't know what I'm talking about. Foundation things. Facts about foundations. I don't fucking know. Anyway, it's so fucking nice. It's Pat McGrath Lab Skin for Skin Fetish. I got mine in a 13 light medium. It is so good, this foundation. I fucking can't, can't get enough, honestly. It's fucking fantastic. It goes, look how, like, ugh, so light. Look, it's like, we well, can't even see. It's just like rolling around. Gorgeous. And you really don't need a lot. 
My skin's not feeling that nice as I said today, so I need more than I normally do, but it's just so soft. It feels like satin on my face. I've done my makeup in the wrong order. Good, good stuff. I'm gonna put one layer of this foundation on. This gorgeous fucking foundation. And then that was like a pump. It's just so nice. Like it looks like my own skin. Glorious. Uh, right, now what I actually do is, this is my favorite hack of all time. And I'm gonna do a little video, I think, of my favorite hacks of all time. My makeup hacks, specifically, not just like, like Swiss knife hacks or like food hacks, like makeup specifically. Right, I still have a little bit on my eyebrows, that's how long it, how long it stays for. But, so this is my favorite hack ever. I have really, really coarse eyebrows, yeah. It's gonna be a long video. <laughs> I, I've got really coarse eyebrows. Um, uh, but Benefit 24 hour brows that area is good, like I, I do love that, but this hack right here has changed my fucking life. So I've got some on my eyebrows still from like literally two days ago, even though I've washed my face multiple times. It does stay, it will come off because it's like a gummy texture, but I don't mind it staying on my eyebrows a little bit because all I have to do is brush them a bit and they kind of go into the shape that I want. Even though my eyebrows, Jesus Christ, they could they could take down Putin. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. They're fucking thick. They're aggressive. And they're strong. Yeah. Anyway, so this is what I do. I take... Right, this is breaking, first of all, if you want to not do that. I've got a spoolie thing here. And this this will come off your spoolie with, like, alcohol. So I use, like... You can use, like, nail varnish removal or, like, just any alcohol and it'll come off really quickly. This is the clear duo adhesive. I oh, love I literally just, so I'm gonna look over here. I'm not, I'm not ignoring you. Look, I just put it on my eyebrows. And then I, it's better not break, I started, oh, it's rolling. And then I literally just, oh, it's rolling. I washed my brushes and this has gone weird since. It's fucking spoolie. I'm ruining my demo. Like that, and I swear to God, God himself would not be able to move. These eyebrows are our place. They are just set. They are done. Nothing is moving that shit. Like my eyebrows are so thick and coarse that it really takes something strong and mighty to, to lay them down and put them in their place. But they listen to this bitch, let me tell you. I would get like, uh, oh, maybe I'll get some plastic ones, but these, these like little hair ones work well. You do have to do it quite fast. Like not really fast, like how fast I'm going. Like I'm not going that fast, but I'm, um, it does dry quick, so you have to just kind of, I get them in the shape I want really before, and then, um, I know people probably, wait, no, I'm not, I need to stop, I have ADHD, relax, everyone calm down. Um, so I put them in the shape that I want to before with the brush, and then I'll go in with the glue, in so that I don't have to do too much of them, and they don't end up gluing in the wrong place, because they do stick down. And it's not like a hard, crispy one, because this is kind of like a gel glue, because it's for your eyelashes, it's not like super glue, don't do that. Um, it, it just feels so good. My eyebrows feel too deep, but look at them. Laid. Wow, we're on 11 minutes. Cool. Anyway, I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this foundation on. What was I gonna say? Probably everything at once. Look how glowy it is. Well, oh my god, it's so nice. So, I moved into a different room in my house. Um, fun fact, I was living with my ex for like a year. <laughs> because, um... Because when we moved into this place, we put down a year, a, a year, like, we just put down a year. And, um, so we had, like, a whole year's worth of rent here. So it was chill. We was, like, friends still, so it's fine. But now, um, so I was in one of the rooms. Then DJ moved in, like, maybe two months after that. So, like, DJ's moved, you know DJ. You know DJ, right? She moved in, and she's been living here as well, because we've got a free bed. Now he's moved out, he's moved out to London. Um... So now I'm in this, no, I'm in this room and it's kind of just like better lighting and everything. That's why I've moved into here. And now, we have girls' apartment for the summer. We can be horrid. I'm going to actually go over with me in, um, hello, um, NARS concealer in medium. I'm going to just go over any little blemishes. Still peeking through because you can like you can really build this foundation up, but I just don't like putting loads of it on because I just feel like it 
you can it is not it builds up nicely but i just feel like the level i have now it's kind of like a good vibe for me and i'd rather just i'd rather just um add concealer oh god i hate it when you know when you have like a blemish or something and then it and then it heals like all cool yeah nice and then you have like the dry flaky skin that when you put your foundation on you can kind of see different layers of your skin drives me up the fucking wall look at this cute thing i'm so organized and and, and uh i was gonna say so organized and offensive i'm so organized and like professional look at me except i don't know where my concealer brush is oh it's that look Ugh. Ugh. jamie can't believe I'm fucking 29 next year. That's it after that. I'm not aging anymore. I can't be asked. I refuse. I'm putting my foot down. Okay, okay. Right, no. Okay, so I also use from Pat McGrath Labs uh, her concealer, which is really fucking sexy. It's like a lot thicker than the foundation. And I got this in. I got this in a little bit of light. Six. Uh, L6. It's fucking delicious. It is so nice. Honestly, obsessed with her products. You know what products I've never used? Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, um, the only thing I will say about this concealer is that sometimes when you close it, like some of the foundation, the concealer comes down there. But I just do that and use it for my eyebrows. That's the only annoying thing about the concealer. Slightly on my nose, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more like that anyway after I contour. Let me know, did any of you guys co go Coachella? Because I feel like I need to go next year because everyone goes. I feel like you need to go at least once in your life. Had had the vaccine for a fucking work opportunity. Ah! So at least I can defo go. You. If I have legs by next year. I feel like I've become way more self-aware of like me changing subjects before I finish the, the sentence I'm on. <laughs> I've done it a few times in this video. I've, I've like noticed it myself. I'll literally could like, have to stop myself and go back and finish what I was saying. I don't know what's wrong with me. How's it real? Ow! Good. Just what I wanted. Yeah. Then I'm taking Hourglass. I actually bought a new one. You know, I had like a, I had that old one for like five years. But I ran out and I got a new one. I got this in natural amber. This is different. The one that I before I had was golden tan. Golden tan, yeah. And it's like this. This is actually a foundation, but it's an unbelievable con um, contour because it blends so nicely. It's also £48. It's worth it because it lasts so long, but also I got sent my other one. So you can imagine my shock when I got to the till and she said 48 I said, I could buy a small house for that, to be honest. I'll do it, but I'm not happy about it. I am. It's worth it. But So instead of putting it on my face, I put it on my brush. And this is... Look at me telling you the brushes. I don't know what this brush is. This one. Okay, and I just put it on my face like that. And I actually bring it down across my mouth, like the Joker. This makes me look so pale when I actually am not as pale. Also, I don't know if you noticed just then, but I just put my foundation on with my hands. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, um, but she suggests, Pam McGrath suggests doing it that way, and honestly, it's the best way. And I feel weird putting foundation on with anything else. It just feels right. That's how like nice the, the concoction. <laughs> What's it called? What's it called? The thing, how what it's made of, how it's made. The formula, there we go. Concoction. <laughs> Am I in the fucking middle ages? Fucking hell. Anyway, yeah, that's how nice it is. Just delightful, just delightful. Whenever I actually sit down and do my, like, like film, I love it. I don't know why it takes me so long to sit down and film. Like, it's a chore. I actually do love doing it. Oh, fuck. I do actually, I do love doing it. I don't know. It's okay, it's like, it's like a brain thing, do you know what I mean? Like, something going on in my brain. We're on half an hour nearly. I've just done this. To be fair, we're only doing my face today. I'm using a crease brush, I believe. No, this is not a crease brush. What the fuck are you? This is a crease brush! So much knowledge and such a tiny brain. That's enough of you today. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I'm gonna take the concealer as before. 
and just get some from there. <laughs> you can get some out of the pot, but that's where I get it from because some of it spills out. And um, just literally line up like that. And don't worry if it looks a bit like harsh, like the contrast, because I am going to be blending it. Do you know what's so nice? You guys find me on TikTok, like people who haven't watched me for ages and um, for like years. People be like, oh my God, I used to watch you like five years ago. And I'm like, oh, I'm so old, first of all. But it's so nice that you guys like recognize me. Like, do you know what I mean? It's so nice of you guys. I, do, I just love it. I feel like we're bumping into each other. I actually do bump into some of you guys when I'm out. I'm so awkward. <laughs> okay, like this, and it is quite the contrast. But hold your phone and hold your horse because we are gonna make it work. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about that, sunshine. Hello. Look a little shorter. Uh, this is Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Powder uh, in natural ivory. So I've got a really light shade. You can get a shade that's like maybe just like your concealer shade or one tone lighter if you want to, but I like to have like a light situation. Uh, and I literally just use the sponge that comes with it. And this is what I do. I wanna show you right now. Don't blink, cause you'll miss it. I'm gonna go so slow. All right, so I've just got some on here and I fold it in half so you can have it for line. And I'm gonna line up where I put that concealer. Just on my nose right now. Same on the other side. And I don't bake, I do this instead of baking. Do you see what I mean? I'm gonna use the other side of this brush and just flatten out the creases like this and my under eye. You'll never really have no creases. I think it's fucking impossible. Like anyone who says you can have no creases, they're using their filter and they're fucking lying. But you can do your best to get rid of them. And I feel like this does help. I'm just putting that under my eye. Ugh, fuck me. Why am I dropping everything today? It's so embarrassing. Still quite contrasty, but don't you worry because we're not done. We haven't even started yet. We have. We have. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring the tiny bit down my nose. That's also, I get quite oily around my nose sometimes, this helps. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. This is very bright. You look like a chav. I am a chav. I would love to be a chav. They seem like they have their life together. Do you know what I mean? They've got it all together. They know what they're doing every day. White lightning. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to go in. This is actually a little bit lighter. So this is Misguided's Match Trick um, Mattifying Powder. It's a tiny bit lighter. I'm just going to put this right under my eyes. Just like a little bit right under. Just that. Just a smidge. Just a tiny smidge. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to go over my nose. To get rid of that harsh, harsh line. I'm pushing it into my face a little bit. Like that. So, I need to stop putting my brushes in the bag. My brushes are for my brush box. Okay, I'm gonna take this. This is uh, NARS Paradise Found. Ow! I just pinched my finger. Ah! I just pinched my finger. Anyway, Paradise Found. And then this brush. And I learned this at a misguided event I was at the other day. When you start by there and brush down, it does like a gradient. Instead of going up, because I'd always gone up. I learned this the other day, and now I'm teaching you guys. By the way, I have not got lashes on. I have just had an LVL treatment. I need to get the tint, but um, I'll tag where I got it done. It's so good, it literally lasts like, hello. Why does it not want to focus on my lashes? My gorgeous, gorgeous lashes. I got them done the other day. I had an LVL treatment and it lasts like two months and it's sick and I fucking can't live without it. Such a good alternative to false lashes. It takes like, I think it takes like half an hour, last two months. Like, you don't have that annoying, you know, like I get, my eyes get itchy with lash extensions. Go in with a little bit of this. This is number four bronzer from uh, Laura Mercier. I say it differently every time. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, a cup of tea, it's getting cold. Why am I really bright now? Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Why is it going really bright? Settle down. Settle down. This scares me filming, you know. It's actually so dry. 
Right, what have you done that for then? You let me know when you're ready. Okay, I think that's fine. Anyway, uh, this is Oh Hey Brow by Misguided in the shade medium. And I'm just gonna put like all the hairs up front. Like that. I go, I go up until about here, like that. And then I start going backwards here. Just basically following the same way that I've laid my eyebrows down with that gorgeous, gorgeous glue. And I'm gonna go a little bit so down. That is a good eyebrow. How delightful. How delightful. Yeah. I don't have as much hope in this eyebrow and I never do. I don't know what it is. This eyebrow doesn't ever want to play nice. It's not hideous, but it's just not. I don't like to compare siblings, you know, sibling rivalry and all that is a real thing, but this one's doing a lot better. Fuck it. That'll do. Oh, my eyebrows. I'm gonna finish my, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna finish my base, because this is a base makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the finish when I do my eyes and everything, but let me finish my face now. I would normally do my, I would normally do my eyes now and then finish like blush and everything, but I'm just gonna do that now. So the blush I'm gonna use is this one. This is Stop and Blushing from Misguided. I just love this shade, especially when I'm gonna do like an orangey. Oh, I'm not the fucking YouTuber hand. Um, I'm gonna do like an orangey eye, so this is like a really nice color. I love, I love blushes with a bit of orange in them. Do you not agree? You don't agree, huh? Now I'm gonna bring it a little bit across my nose. I like to back and forth from my um, bronzer and blusher brush and just like blend them together. I'm using a lot of misguided products today. Um, so this is the Freckles, Freckle, Frex, oh, I get it, Frex Appeal uh, Freckle Brush. Brush? Wow. What's wrong with me? I'm not using that yet. <laughs> I think I'm having a stroke. Okay, so I sometimes put, especially if I've got some blemishes, I'll put like a little dot on my face. I feel like it just makes your foundation, your base look better. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a bit here. Under my eye. I'm gonna put one. I just want two, just like that. And then to set everything in place, I will get, okay, so I've got e.l.f. illuminating and I've got e.l.f. just the normal makeup ones. These are amazing, these setting sprays, and they're so fucking cheap. I think they're like four pound. I'm running out of that, so I'm gonna use a little bit of that, because it's gonna give me dots. And then. Soak my face, and then put it on, put the hairdryer on cold. Okay, so that is my base. I'm gonna do my eyes just so you can see how it all looks together, but that's pretty much all I do. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do my eyes and I'll come back and show you guys. Okay guys, I have gone and done my eyeshadow. I filmed the eyeshadow look, so that will be up on my channel soon. But this is my base and we have eyeshadow. Um, yeah, super, I feel like it looks fresh. Do you know what I mean? It's like a fresh look. Look fresh. Make sure you hit the bell button to make sure you get notified when I post this eyeshadow look. If I haven't posted it already, I'm not sure which one I'll post first. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.